All right, YouTube. Third time might be a fucking charm. Jesus. Having technical difficulties with the phone. It kept separating the videos. I don't, I don't. I had to change it from. I had it in 4K. Um. What we got here? We go around here. Let me show y'all. CDT audio. Not a lot of videos on YouTube. Um. There's a guy that's got a video focus, dummy. There we go. There's a guy that's got uh, a couple videos listening to them. Um, no details, no specs. Um, and from a couple videos I've seen, they they sound good. I mean, they really do sound really nice. Um, of course, on video. Just on video. Um, these are going to go in, if you guys have seen the video of the little black Kia Spectra 5, um, with the Orion XTR 6x9, uh, three ways in the back deck, or the little, you know, little back tray or whatever, and then it had the Cobalt, Orion Cobalt 6.5 inch three ways, um, in the doors, um, that car's since been junked, uh, transmission went out. The same guy bought um, for his work vehicle. He bought a 2011-2009 Yaris, um, really like 50, 60 thousand miles on it. Um, he's a delivery driver, so he wants something good on gas. Um, look, there's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Um, but anyway, wanted to, uh, to to show y'all a little video on them. Um, I've been watching them consistently for about a year, year and a half. Um, because and I, I initially started looking for something. Um, if you guys have the 2006 to 10 Dodge Charger, um, the Magnums, the Chrysler 300s, um, any really any any Dodge vehicle, I mean, any vehicle at all, um, but namely um, the Charger Challenger um, Magnum 300. Um, I know they use six by nines in the front doors, and uh, the front doors are six by nine subwoofers um they are not a two-way um wife has got an 07 rt and um this is an 06 srt8 um they don't there's not a lot of companies that make a good quality six by nine subwoofer um because they do sound fairly decent from the factory i mean they don't sound bad at all um i've heard better i've heard worse but they sound pretty decent um, that I've got the shitty kicker sub in the back and then it's got a Kenwood deck and it sounds horrible Hers sounds ten times better than mine um, But if you guys have those Check into this place check into this company. I'll put a link to their website in the description below um, They are um, a, a really nice company. I mean it's supposed to be more on the audio file side um, all of their cones are carbon fiber on both i mean you could see you know carbon fiber six line one inch uh, dumb tweeter this one does not swivel this one does swivel um but it's all carbon fiber polypropylene surrounds um rubber surrounds will you know stand up to the weather the heat you know if you live in some hot areas florida and california and arizona places like that um you know they'll stand up to the heat here what I wish they would have done on the 6.7 that they didn't do is they you know put some nice little specs on here. So you got 30 to 20,000 hertz, 200 watts RMS, 90.6 dB, 2 ohm load. These are also a 2 ohm load. Um, you can buy them in a 2 or a 4 ohm load, um, depending on whatever you know will fit your needs, whatever you want. They've got those options for you. Um, one thing I will say that I, I really like about the 6.7s here is they've got push terminals um 14 gauge push terminals super 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 nice love that love that little rubber boot covering the motor and then what they don't have on the six by nine what gives what gives cdt why not why not put those on those you you should yeah um stamp steel basket here this one almost feels like not stamped steel. 
I don't know. Cast maybe? Super nice. Love the way that the look of the six and a half is, or six point seven, I'm sorry. Um but there are two different lines. Um, this is the ES, this is the HD. They have uh, an MX line, and then I think they may even have a gold line. Um, but a good thing about this company, you'll see here, we'll scoot this over, is that this is one of their six by nine subwoofers. Um, like I said, they're, um, these are like 120 watts, 125 watts RMS, I think um, the subs are, all three of the lines that they have available. Um, they're available in shallow amount too, if you're kind of limited on space. Um, anywhere from 35 to 3500 hertz um, on two of the lines, and then one line is 30 hertz to 4000 hertz. So pretty broad range for a subwoofer. Um, may sound pretty good. But these are 200 watts RMS. Um, doesn't really say anything here. It just tells you 100 hertz. Um, 100 hertz on these as well. Suggested crossover range setting. Um, what they don't tell you on here is it says these are 180 watts RMS, which they are not 180 watts RMS. Um, I would probably say they're probably anywhere from 90 to 100 watts RMS. Um, the amp that's going to be used is going to be a but the um, amp that's going to be used I had to pause real quick the amp that we're going to use on that is that little fella you guys check it out my nice amplifier 130 bucks um man it does like 100 it's supposed to i think it's rated like 75 by 4 something like that um i don't think it says anything on the bottom let me see no no, that doesn't say anything. Um, rated at 75 by 4. Does like 150 plus watts at 2 ohms. I mean, 130 bucks. I mean, check it out. But, uh, so that's what's going to be running these. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys a little video. Um, there's not, like I said, there's not many on YouTube that um, actually really talk about these. Um, like I said, every line is all carbon fiber with the polypropylene um, rubber surrounds. They got the subwoofers, they've got uh, the coaxials, they've got two-way components, they've got three-way components, they've got um, custom fit stuff for like some BMWs and, and some other vehicles that um, it's custom fit for those, um, you know, made for their special assets. But um they've got a huge selection like i said i'm gonna put a link in the description below you guys go check them out um if you if you have anything that's got three and a half in uh, the dash or uh, you know three and a half somewhere they've got um some of their components um they've got them with the one inch soft dome tweeter and then they have them with a two inch mid tweet um yeah two inch mid tweet kind of threw me off when i seen it i was like huh but yeah um they look nice i mean they look really nice they've got you know a, a lot of different uh options available a huge selection of stuff and they've got a huge sale going on right now um so get in there check them out i think these shipped from california to my front door was like 250 40 bucks yeah it's like 240 bucks i think these were 100 bucks and these were like 110 last month they were at 100 and 100 um or no they were at 100 and these were at 90 um so they went up 10 dollars this month but they're still on sale they're normally like 200 bucks a set and they're on sale for 109.99 and then these are like 189 um 199 a set um, on sale for 99 bucks so about 240 bucks shipped to your door super nice we're going to get into this um, i have another video of the walk around after it's installed we're still waiting on the dash bezel to get here for the radio and then if i should do something with this 
man, y'all say something in the comments below. Let me know. Give me some opinions. Um, it sounds like shit, but I think it's because the junk ass came with radio in it. But, you know, the wife's hers sounds super, super good. Ten times better than this one. And I've got the factory sub in the trunk. But uh, let me know if you think I should do something in that. I thought about like three eights or two tens. I don't know. Let me know. And then I've got another one coming. I've got a 95 Chevy Impala SS that I am doing. It is currently out right now. Um, having the box built in the trunk and a rear package tray. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'll do a video of some stuff i'll do uh probably like another unboxing video or just like a a video showing and talking about them the new sound digital evo x line um if you guys haven't seen them check them out i'll put another link to um a website dropping hurts car um one of the owners is a good buddy of mine check him out good guys um but I, I'll I'll do a video. You you won't believe the size of the 800.4. It is, I mean, I could put two 800.4s sitting side by side on here, and they still wouldn't be as big as that little four channel Pioneer. Um, they're really small amplifiers. So, but I'll do a little quick video of those. Um, um, I've got some of the stuff that is at. Uh, the box builder now with him so he can test fit everything but I'm gonna do a walk around of the car we're gonna talk about it um, and I'll do a, a full video with pictures and and stuff like that once it's done um, a video of it in the works I don't know if I'll be able to do that um, I'm using my phone um, and I need two hands to do an install so um, but I'll definitely get a video up. We'll talk about it. I'll show you guys. I see I've got a, a, a few new guys floating around um, in the last couple months. I appreciate y'all. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to try to get back at it. Um, do some some little videos. Um, I don't know what y'all want to see. You know, this, this stuff is floating around everywhere. So y'all let me know. Stay tuned. I appreciate y'all. Later.